And back we are in the Vikings, continuing with our settlement. We are still naming it Eichen now. We didn't have anybody brought some ideas yet uh, by the moment I'm recording it for episode two. So let's continue constructing our burger plots. Three at the pace should give us enough for. There we go. We're getting three more. It should give us enough to have. Uh, no problem. And uh, have this homeless tent disappear over there. So we can expand from over here even further. Well, the burger plots are in construction. I'd say we speed this up a little bit. We're having a very nice amount of uh, wood working on. We have fuel for more than enough months. There we go. Another burger plot has been constructed. I could tell here already to bring or create something else but they're too small we're gonna make a bigger one next to you for another uh big one with gardens we have a good old peter and his wife end line are working on the next house love just watching them construct and work on buildings So we do have quite a lot of timber. What we need next is to craft it into planks. So a saw pit might be fantastic. Let's build it over here so it's not far away. And right next to it's the woodcutter's lodge. Perfect. Perfect. Village is slowly coming together. Let's make sure they're working first on the houses. They should finish those first before anything else. Because we do not want to have people getting the debuff or the disapproval for homelessness. They want, we, want, we want them to like us, so we're getting more people coming in. So, what do you guys need? You need clothing stalls. You need fuel stalls. And we have increased our settlement. That means we can now accept the first expansion points. Since we have a very high amount of hunting going over here, a premium hunting spot, I'd see we enable hunters to play traps, which gives us a passive income of meat. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Wrapping. A new message arrives us. The struggle militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing all the lands. Let's form the militia. And such, we are wanting a first militia with 20 shields and 20 spears. Therefore, we want a spear militia to be created. Uh, people will grab those items and bring them to their home. And we're going to call up the militia to arms. Actual people from their homes will come to arms and serve us in combat. And if they die, they will be missed back here as a labor force. And has to be replaced by offsprings and so on and so forth. So I love the whole cycle of every human being counts. Everybody is super important, and uh, combat is getting with that a very serious notes to it. You do not want to lose any person. Feel is looking okay. They're working nicely on it. I'm liking it. <laughs> you can hear the woodcutter in the distance working, chopping down the tree. So, let's speed this up a little bit. We have now enough homes for everybody to live in. That's the point where we're gonna plan our expansion with the houses. And also have a look at what we need for the church. We need planks. The soul pit is in construction, so we're good to go on that account. Um, I would like over here to have another... Lot being built. 
So let's make a smaller one. Make it large to the back. So you shall be built for another potential garden. And then we're going to have over here till here. Don't think I can delete the roads. King's Road cannot be removed. Fair enough. But what if we are rolling this around? And make it like this. Why do I have to carry this alone? This would be ten houses, but they would not be surrounded to the center spot as I wished it. I have to sneeze, I'm sorry. So, hmm, quite a predicament. So I wanted to see them, to all of them being facing down into the middle. Guess it will be only two then. So there's the markets. Or we could leave this space for the church. How big is the church? Yeah, we could have the church over here. Exactly. Let's have the church over there. Let's focus on, on this spot then. So, something like that, something like that, and then like this. This would be 10. And we just have seven. Okay, that's the main issue here. That we cannot build. Okay. We're waiting them to bring in two or three more pieces of wood. Now we should be fine. Could we make a vegetable garden on there? No. We're gonna make the vegetable garden on, on this side. Exactly. Gonna expand it with living spaces. Beautiful. What a lovely, lovely place. Soul Pits has been created, and our Woodcutter's Lodge has been created. Yule is looking a little bit bad. Hence, I will place Suna family over there to make some firewood. There we go. We need one, one more piece of wood. And then we have our 10. The two pieces of wood have been created over there to so construct the next house in that same plot and there we have our tent so we're starting here to the edge moving up here and we want three houses in here perfect houses over there so let's move it up here something like that 
Perfect. Good. They're coming together. Should bring us also probably some new families in. Gonna let them build that. We still have enough fuel. So we have designated one family to the Woodcutter's Lodge. We're going to leave them so they can build a farm, a, a stall up here. So we have a fuel stall. And then we have to take care of... Uh, we have to build it somehow. No. Okay. New mercenary companies are available. Let's have a look, quick look at the mercenary companies. Local thugs, the flock of crazy geese, and the ravenous vultures. Okay. I wonder if they're one-time payments, or you can, uh, you know, just buy them once and you have them. And that would be the simplest course of action, of course. Bottom once and you're good to go. Not enough wealth. Okay. Will be also an issue that we have to tackle. Therefore, we should start to have an trading post as well. Is that still in our vicinity over here? It is. So let's build a trading post at the end of our village. Burger plots have been created. Very good, very good, very good. That means we are having enough space. Lots of families to come in. Look how beautiful the city's growing. Wow. Feels like a little village in my hometown in Romania already. So, we still have wild and a rich deposit of animals. That's good. At some point, I'm going to build... Actually, we can place it already. At forager huts. Up digger. There we go. Burger plot constructed. Burger plot constructed. So, do we have enough that I could close this up? Probably not. So, we close this up before. have here another one that will kind of like close the circle and then we have here a potential two who could go wider in terms of maybe another garden but we we have some good heights also going on storehouse is not manned though And the generic store is filled. And we can build this up as well. Um, it's a bit of a predicament. I need a new family coming in. That would be great. That would be great. Well, let's put that into the storehouse. Maybe the quality of life increases for them having access on the marketplace for firewood. Only just one family with the buildings. And then we'll see. Firewood store. There we go thought as much. Not two stalls going on here. 
one with food back back to back with the firewood there we go to bring the firewood in <laughs> i love it good With the dedicated ox, we have a very strong help when it comes to collecting the wood. 17 timber placed on top. Let's bring the firewood. A little bit glitching, but that's okay. We're still in beta. To accept more or less everything. There we go. Storage house is taking care of it. Beautifully, beautifully. So let's fast forward a little bit. And we're going to wait for the next families to come in. As soon as we're hitting autumn, we're going to have to start taking care of our firewood. Resource has been stolen. Nearby bandits. Group of bandits over here. Look at that. We would take care of them. Outlaws. They're a handful. I mean, we have a handful of militia. We're only six. Nine. Not yet. We need more people. We definitely, definitely need more people. In order to make it happen. So the store has grabbed everything from here, did he? Yes. Good. The next house has been built. So we just have one builder family, but that's okay. They can handle it. At least the people have their wood stool going on. So the next bit that we need is the soul pit, so we are getting timber. In it goes. I also like the concept that we have here with the marketplace in the middle, the circle around of the houses, everybody having their workstations and whatnot towards the back, and then we can expand or keep everything that they need very close by, so everybody of them has access to it. Another bandit camp has been sighted. That's not good. Brigands to the north of us. We seem a little bit better organized and armed than the one to the east of us. Oh boy. Let's see if they're not stealing too much of wares from our lands. We're going to deal with them as soon as we have more people. Homelessness. It's still affecting us a little bit, but we're getting away from it. Mercenary companies. I do not have the money for mercenary companies. I apologize. So... Logging camp, we seem to have enough for the moment. I'm going to deactivate it. And also deactivate the permanent livestock over there. I'm going to bring one to the saw pit and hire one. So we get some planks in the go. There we go. New family has started to join Perfect. That's exactly what we're hoping for. That is exactly what we're hoping for. And please finish constructing that trading post over there. 
So we're gonna hopefully, 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 hopefully at some point start making some sort of profit to upgrade our houses. This one is getting full because it has the log in there. That's fair enough. So the trading post has been finished. What can we sell? Wood required is roof tiles and blocks. That would give us a lot of money. Minor trades is stone and planks. And then we have the commodities who are required. And the military parts that are required as well. Plate armor being sold very good. But what could make a lot of money is roof tiles. So we have an plate deposit over here. Over there. Okay. Let's have a road down here. And at some point, we're going to have then the industry. There we go. Roof tiles. Creators. First, let's just have it here at the end of the wood. And then we can sell that and make a good profit. That's what we're going to focus on. Making roof tiles. So we have one family that should now start, since we're in September, taking care of uh, wood cutting. Unlimited work area. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Food like. We're looking okay. The good part is that we can still hunt in the winters as well. It's a rich deposit. Apologies, I have to stop my voice here and there for having big sneezes. And apparently I'm getting some sort of cold. So, when population of a herd drops to this number, worker will stop hunting. That's 10. Perfect. So, the saw pit is working on it. We're having our first planks already coming in. With five planks already. We need a total of 20. And we're going to focus on making the church. Oh, we rolled out of stone. It seems like. No, we do have stone. Ten. Perfect. That's an iron deposit over there. That's a stone deposit over there. Oh, that's up. What are we going to build it? That's okay. Why is it said that we have only five stone, even though we have plenty of more? Raise a bush, raise a shrine. Not all deserves to be buried in a consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. Hmm, I see. It's a mass grave if there's a fight going on. Firewood! Oh, they're, they're screaming and selling their stuff. Let me, lady. It's it's raining there now. <laughs> lovely atmosphere. Lovely, lovely atmosphere. But it looks like over here we can we'll be mainly able to sustain ourselves through hunting and uh, foraging. Don't think we're gonna need. Any farms. Maybe when it's growing a little bit more. 
then we might place a farm. But for the, for the moment, we're, we're more than good. Also, we're not overflowing. That we need to expand. That's good. Ha! Ah, the ox is called Fritz. Love it. Mercenary companies. New family started moving. Very good. So, I'm gonna assign a family over here. And we're gonna trade planks. The desired surplus should be 15. So, we're gonna export those. And everything that goes above 15 planks shall be sold. And then some word of money will or should come in. Is the pantry? No. We need the stones for the church. Very good. More and more family members. Yes. But I can now become bigger. We still need a name for this, though. Not accepting I can now. The mining pit has been constructed. Beautiful. The clay furnace has been constructed. That one needs fuel, though. We have to be careful. We made somewhat of money. Resources have been stolen from nearby bandits. Oh, boy. Okay, we have to deal with them. I wonder if we get our tools back when we destroy the camp. That's a lot of, a lot of money. It's worth a lot of money. So, 13. We do have more than that. We still have seven lots of shields and spears lying around. There we go. Can expand some living space over here. Same goes for this place. Perfect. There we go. 20 quids. 20 coins coming in. Next, what we also need is a tannery that would make something out of our leather. Tanneries tend to stink a little bit. And so I'm going to make it over here. I'm not sure if, if uh, pollution or whatnot is there. Yes, smell. There we go. Smell is a work in progress, but it definitely will be something to consider later on because you do not want a tannery next to the place you live in. Trust me. So, song pets will stop. I'm going to continue with the logging camp. So, we're going to fast forward from here. We are still looking okay with food and firewood. Yes, food and firewood is looking good. They're still working on their fields. Construction completed, upgrading a burger plot. Winter is approaching. The winter is coming. And such, the first year has been nearly survived, fulfilled. I don't know how to call it. So. Trading posts can... Stop. Don't do any trade anymore. I'm gonna bring bring the people in from there as well. I'm gonna put one extra to hunting. So it's two of you hunting. Because the animals are 
I grow in pride quite rapidly, anyways. And we have 60 wealth. So we're gonna expand some things. Could have some goats. Could have some chickens. What is a smaller one? Let's grab this one. Or this one. You should have some chickens. Chicken coops. <laughs> Very good. New families also coming in. And family members are joining. Such a lovely little town. So cozy to watch it grow. So, how's the lower militia looking? 15 people? All with new families, and when are we getting more... more forces on the fields? So we're gonna deal with those bandits. So we just need the church and the clothing store. Good, we have a lot of planks. I'm gonna bring in now the soul pits into action again. Tannery has been constructed. Next family will take care of the tannery. So, we got 10 planks. We have 20, 20 of total. So, let's make a stone deposit back here. What else we need? Malt house. Not happening. Berries for die. Not happening. I'm gonna start on this here. I'm gonna focus on starting to dig in some proper deep mining. Enables a building to extract resources indefinitely if placed over a rich deposit. Ooh. That is very good. Resources have been stolen. One clay. And none. These bastards. These bastards. Malakas. Should I bring them out in winter? I don't know. Probably not. So you stop there. I'm gonna start with the tannery. I'm gonna make clothes. There's more important than clay at the moment. And winter has come. Winter is upon us. Snow's fallen. The trade is slowly starting. But our little city is ever growing. We're surviving. Hello, Peter. And Fritz the Ox. You can hear in the distance the wood choppers chopping. Hitting on them trees. Is the saw pit. Interesting the technique back in the days, having those holes. I wonder what kind of saw pit is this, because I don't see it. more or less a blade of some sorts. 
I think they rolled the tree on top of it. At least that's how I could imagine. Roll the tree on top of it and then... Have some sort of bigger blade hanging down. And use it, or use gravity in some sort of your help. But uh, maybe somebody can explain the process over here. In more detail, how it works. The town square is quite busy now. With so many houses, so many families who've gathered. I think we're by 10 families now that are living here. Hello, milady. <laughs> we just started with a few little houses. Look at this now. Amazing. Amazing, I tell you. So, we're in the midst of September, of December. Two hunters are making definitely a better job. Okay, we have more than enough food. For that. New family has walked in. Very good. Sawpit is busy. Woodcutter's Lodge is busy. That means we can work on the clay furnace and the mining pits. And start making tiles. Wood, um, what are called again? Oh my god, and I can't find them right now. Roof tiles, there we go. Uh, look at those little furnaces. Nice. They're prepping them. Well, over here, the family is mining, mining for some clay. And it's a rich deposit, so that's infinite. So if we build up on that, it would be perfect. The wild animals have been hunted down to... The limits that we've set up being 10. Now there will be no hunting happening anymore. So this one has the chicken coops. Its neighbor should get the goats for hides. Good. Approval overall is going up because we have clothing now on the market store. Very nice. Very nice. That means we have everything except of the church. 25 planks. I wonder how far the radius of the church is or its influence. I'm gonna place it over here. None of goods. It says we have too little stone. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We have fuel for a year we're selling though let's take you away from the soul pit and put it into the stone cutter camp so we get our 10 10 stone together Punk, even though it now says we have five stones. What, what did we use those five stones for? Was it the trading post? Could be.
Good, we're waiting now for the stones to increase. There we go, we have 25 stones by now. And we're going to place it like here. And then have a road. Connected to it. New family is also moving in just perfectly. And of that, we have our 20 people for the militia. That means as soon as spring hits, we are bringing our soldiers out and we're moving them against the outlaws over there. And see how we can fend off the bandits. A lovely, lovely village is great. Amber so much. Amber so much. The Vikings, I think you're kind of joining in, in this saga, in this series. If we're gonna manage to survive the onslaught with the bandits, the face-off, we're gonna find out in the next episode. Thank you kind of for watching. Until then, bye-bye.